I hate being late for work. Not because I think it's important to be at work on time, but because I have to pretend that I'm sorry to be late, which I'm not. Oh, you know what else? My roster says this shift starts at 8.50, so I'm here in time for a staff meeting. But I don't actually get paid till 9. So my day consists hey, of... Shawnee. Here we go. <laughs> hey, mate. Hey. Hey, are you all right? You've been late a lot lately. Yeah, look, Gary, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I got caught behind an accident. You should leave early to avoid things like that. And then if you get into work early, you can set your department up, start the day with a bang, brother. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I kind of wanted to bring that up with you. Yeah. Because we don't actually get paid until nine. Uh, nah, mate. Mate, look, head office make the rules. Now, I'm working on it. I'm on your side. Believe me, I'm working on it. Yeah, but you're still enforcing it, though. You... Sean, I like you, mate. I really do. Your product knowledge is fantastic. You're great with the customers. But more so, you're one of the bros, bro. One of the bros. But, mate, we're a team here. I've got to make sure that we are all travelling in the same direction. Anyway, look, forget about that. What do you got planned for the weekend? I have a, a bit of a quiet one. Perfect. I'll need you for Sunday. Brett's got something on, so... <laughs> cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha! Legend! Pound it! Legend! Ha <laughs> ha! Now, mate, get out there and have a huge one. <laughs> Come on, now, mate. <laughs> Damn it! Happens every time. Rule number one of retail, always have something planned. Otherwise, they'll assume you can work. OK, so where was I? OK, so my day consists of... Sean! Damn it. Mate. Uh, what's going on with you lately? Hmm? Third time you've been late this week. Yeah, sorry, I got caught behind an accident. Well, mate, you should leave with enough time to compensate if something like that happens. And if you do get here early... Oh, I can just work for free for half an hour till 9am, yeah? Wow. Uh, don't know what to say. Yeah, but it's true, isn't it? Mate, I'm just like you. You know, we're a team. And you know, head office, little Oh, my gosh, you guys work off a script or what? Look, mate, uh, Gary and I go in bat for you guys all the time. But head office make the rules. You know, I've been where you are. But I put my head down, I work my ass off, and look at me now. Too fucking IC. Yep. OK, mate, just get here on time, mate. You know that floor manager job's coming up, then uh, you're looking good for it. Also, I'd hate to have to discipline you. Discipline me? What, are you joking? Or... No, if I had to, I would. I mean, for your own good. Adam, your job description is exactly the same as mine, except for you get keys to close the store and you've got to do some filing, mate. That's it. Regardless, you can't. You can't discipline a grown man. Sean, I'm begging you, please don't make me discipline you. I like you. Try it. Go on, honestly. If you're nice, Sean. If you're nice. Adam, ladies and gentlemen. Great, so where was I? Oh, that's right, my day. My day consists of pacing these aisles, smiling and selling things to people. Which usually looks like this. What's your best price on this? What's your best price on this? Can you do any better for cash? Can you do any better for cash? Come on, mate. I've seen this way cheaper down the road. I've seen it way cheaper than that. I do spend a lot of money here. It's 50 bucks cheaper down the road. Can you hurry up? No. OK, you get the idea. Now there's the staff. 
Like all retail stores, we have a full range of alpha male salesmen, bitchy counter girls and incompetent managers. This is my nine to five. Day in, day out. Welcome to Electra World, or as I like to call it, hell. Excuse me. Yes, hello, how are you today? Do you work here? I've been standing here for half an hour now. Yes, I do work here. And are you sure about that? Because I was behind here about 10 minutes ago. Are you calling me a liar? No, not at all. I was merely stating the fact that maybe you overestimated the amount of time that you were waiting here. But look, I, I'm sorry, how can I help you? Hmm. I'd like to return this camera, please. Yeah. OK. Yep, I can help you with that. What seems to be the problem? It doesn't take good pictures. How so? It's actually a really good camera. All the photos come out blurry and some are dark. Right. What were you taking photos of? My husband and I went away for a weekend and I was trying to take lots of photos as we drove around and it all looked terrible. OK, so when you say driving around, you mean you would drive, stop, take a photo? No, we didn't have time to get out all the time. Well, so you were taking photos when you were driving? While my husband drove, yes. Right, that seems to be the problem. It's really hard to hold these still while you're driving and get a clear picture. The camera's not faulty. Plus, the car's moving as well. You'd be struggling to get a good shot without a DSLR. Look, I know how to use a camera and this one isn't working. OK. Smile. Look at that. See? Clearly in focus. Well, it only happens sometimes. Regardless, I want a refund. It didn't work for the purpose I bought it for. Look, I, I'm really sorry, but we can't give you a refund unless it's faulty. It takes blurry pictures. No, no, no. Remember, I just took a photo of you. You just can't take a photo out of a moving vehicle and expect it to be in focus. Well, that's false advertising, then. Where did it say that on the box? Well, the list of things it can't do are much longer than what it can do. How do you mean? Well, I mean, they're not going to list all the things that it can't do. You know, you don't buy a toaster and then they put on the packaging, this toaster won't turn into a car. Now you're talking nonsense. No, I'm not. I'm stating a fact. I'm really sorry, but we can't return this because it's not faulty. I'll take a credit note then. It's the same rules apply, sorry. I'd like to speak to the manager, please. Yep. OK. I'll see if he's available. Hey, have a good one, mate. Hey, good one getting that warranty. Sleep soundly now in your cupboard. Brett, we know you bastard. How are you? Brett, hey, so, uh, you only girls on the go at the moment? Of course I do, mate. What do, what do you think I'd do at night? Bloody uh, pull my dick or something? <laughs> good one, Brett. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you were trying to pick up girls here in the store, so I thought you might have been single. Mate, I'm in my prime. Fucking years, son. You know, seriously, I can go out right. And the young trotch, they think I'm like this cool older bloke. I mean, you know, not so old that I'm a dirty old bastard. Right. But I'm young enough that the old mills, they want to ride me like a fucking stallion, we know. Like a fucking stallion. So, Brett, uh, what's your strategy then? <clears throat> Mate, just fucking take him out the back and tell him you want to smash him. For reals? Yeah, they love that. They don't even get offended? Oh, well, some do, but I mean, they're not going to suck you off in the dunnies, are they? So who cares? Well, and that's it? Mate, I don't know. I'm usually peeing off my head, bro. Well, is, is that what you said to, to Tess? Mate, just told her every single shift I want to take her out the back and smash her. And then on the Christmas party... And uh, Tess went up for it, seriously? Oh, oh, mate, did she ever. She wanted me to bend her over in the toilets. Mm. <laughs> seriously, Tess? <gasps> seriously? Oh, look, mate, I think... I think I know what this is about. And the answer <coughs> is yes. Sorry, 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 Brett. Sorry, what? Yes, the Britonator will be your wingman. Yes, we're going to go out and get <sighs> okay. smashed, and yes, you're going to drain those little oh, balls, okay. mate. Just to ask if you want a party, bro. Um, no, 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 that's, that's not what I was getting at. I'm uh, pretty busy anyway on the weekend. Oh, yeah, 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 busy when? Uh, uh, Friday. Ah, I was going to say Saturday. Sucked in, dickhead, it's on. Don't be such a pussy. You know what, Brett? Yes. Yes. 
we can go out and, and yes, uh, yes, yes, I will learn your style. That a boy. Hey, can you look after TVs for a sec? I gotta go snap off a deuce. I'm sorry, did I just overhear you and Brett making plans to hang out on Saturday? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 actually, we're, um, we're going out to the clubs and we're going to, um, like, smash, uh, like, rivers of bitches. Okay, what are you doing? Why are you laughing? This whole attitude just doesn't suit you. This is the new me, Tess. I don't see what, what's wrong with that. Why are you being so weird? Tessa, are, are you getting are you getting jealous that I'm going out with Brett and you're not? No. You are because if you are, that means you're pathetic, and you're not pathetic, are you, Tess? And what are you trying to achieve with your new dickhead persona? I don't know, Tess. I mean, I got Brett into your pants, so uh, maybe I'll get lucky too. Tess, I. Maybe you'll get lucky. Good one, dickhead. You and Brett deserve each other. Tess. Tess. Hey, funny boy. Hey. How are you, mate? What's going on? That lady with the camera, mm. she, uh, she's she got no receipt, no box, and she still wants a refund. Well, is it in good condition? It's still working. Yes. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Look, just return it. Keep happy. What? Just return it. Keep happy, yeah? No big but, deal. But that's not policy, mate. I pretty much told her there was no way. Yeah, but look, I just want us to keep the reputation of being nice guys. Like Brett. Number one sales guy right there. Thanks, mate. Finally. Well, how did you go? Well, I spoke to the manager and he said just this once, he's happy to give you a refund. I knew it. Can you just grab a Lucky few Lucky that... you spoke to him. It's incredible the trouble we have to go to to get good service. Yeah, OK, cool. Can you just grab... Huffing and puffing won't do anything. And you're lucky I don't get your manager out here and reward Will you... you and... shut up? I'm just following the same rules as everyone else. I thought this job was going to be easy. It's people like you who think they're royalty, who pooped out a couple of kids and been on this earth 20 years longer than me, complicate things. Well, I... Well, I... Well, there, there, there. What? You think because I'm wearing this polo shirt and there's a desk between us that, what, you have this magical power that excuses you from being a bitch? Why don't you leave your camera, go to the front desk and fuck off? I'm in trouble. What the fuck is this shit? It's a return. Come on, mate. Please don't break my balls. It's Gary's orders, mate. Yeah, where's the box and the receipt? Darren, I'm telling you, it's Gary's orders. Oh. Gary's orders. Don't bring this shit in here, Sean. I know you guys like to prance around out there in fairyland. Well, in here, the real deal, mate, we've actually got work to do. I can't send it back without a receipt. No, 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 you don't have to send it back. It's not faulty. All you have to do is put it through the system and then put it back on the shelves. Sean, why would you bring me a camera? It's not broken. I mean, I like you, mate. But are you retarded? I, we, I just need to return it. Can you just return it? Yeah, but it's not broken. I know it's not broken. I've been busting my ass for the last hour with this shit. Can you just return it, put it through the system? Yeah, no. No, if Gary authorised it, then he can deal with it. Darren! Darren! Okay. Have a great day. See you later. Young card, can you just get that? Sure. Welcome to Electro World. This is Bianca. How may I direct your call? Okay. I'll put you through to someone in that department now. Oh my god, what a bitch. Were you here for that? No, what happened? Tess was standing at the registers, not doing anything again, and the phone rings, and she's all, oh, Bianca, can you get the phone? Like, she thinks she's better than me or something. Oh, my God, she did that to me yesterday. Who the hell does she think she is? I'm going to say something to her. 
She walks around here like she owns the place and no one says anything, but I see right through her. And not to mention, she's all over every single guy in the store. I know, it's disgusting. Like, seriously, I think she has a problem. It's like she thinks she owns you and I'm just here like, excuse me, but did you buy me? Like, did you buy me off my parents and I didn't know? No? We'll lose the attitude, bitch, because no one owns me, so I can't be bought, I will never be bought. I reckon she's one of those fat bitches in high school that gets skinny, and she just thinks that she can talk to anyone however she likes. If she's gonna come at me, she better be ready for law. I swear, when she comes back out... Oh, my God, are you OK? I just cut my finger oh, a little bit. Let me see. You need to be careful, babe. Yeah, it's fine, honestly, but, like, I'm sorry if I, you know, I felt a little bit pushy before, I just... I really needed to pee, and so I didn't really want to get like, stuck on the phone, so thank God she was there to save me. <laughs> what? Oh, you mean the phone thing? Yeah, oh, yeah. don't be silly, babe. My God, no. As if I'd think anything like that. OK, good. Well, I just wanted to make sure, but I just need to get a Band-Aid for this, so I'll just be back in a second. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Take your time, babe. It's quiet anyway. Thanks. Oh, my... God. No. What a suck up! She so clearly saw us talking about her and made up this elaborate scheme to lie her way out of it. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I did not see any blood when she hurt herself. Uh, she must have planned this whole thing just to feel like she had one up on me. Pathetic. It's a margarita. It's from Italy. Uh, no. Well, good, aren't they? Yeah, you just get a bit of... Can I just... Mm. Thanks. Mm. Here he is now. Sure. Mate. Hey. I've been looking for you. Gary, hey, oh, I won't be long. I was hoping I could leave the camera here. Darren said that he'd slit my throat and bone it if I left it there. Darren's the least of your worries, mate. Sorry, are we role-playing a bad cop movie from the 80s, or...? No. OK, that's all good. Sure. What happened today with that woman is unacceptable. I was shocked, but more disappointed. Yeah. Everyone heard. Gary, if you're going to drill me about this, can he not be here? He has to be here, Sean. To witness. Witness what? It's strike one. We've got you this time. I told you you're on thin ice. What is he even talking about? I have to give you a written warning. Seriously? That's your first of three. Three written warnings is instant dismissal. Well, what do you want me to do? We all have to sign. Gladly. You just said where it says Sean. Yes. Thank you, Adam. OK, there. Done. Happy? Pretty much. Oh, I want you to write a apology letter to the lady. No. It's non-negotiable, Sean. Sure. Gary, this is bullshit. I'm not apologising to her. She was a crusty old bitch. You should be glad this is all you're getting, mate. Adam, Adam, can I ask you a serious question? Fire away. Why do you even care? This has got nothing to do with you, mate. Because you're poisoning my stall and soiling the good name of my company. You don't actually own this company. Neither do I, neither does Gary. Gary runs it, so I understand why he's pissed off. But you, I think you're just trying to create a bit of drama. Sure. It's Adam's store. It's your store. It's all our store. What does that even mean? How's it my store? Would I be getting a written warning if it was my store? Gary, you really f me in the butt today. I was following store procedure and you told me to break it. And I was exercising a human right to not get treated like a pile of poop. And now, now you want me to apologise to her? And you hit me with all this teamwork crap? Yeah, man, cool team. Brother, I know it looks like that, and I do apologise, but there's some good news coming out of this. Head office still likes you for that promotion that's coming up. Are you serious? Look, everyone has off days. Everyone. If you apologise, all will be forgotten and you'll be moving up the chain of command, mate. Yep. 
How are you good, mate? My oh, man. There it is. Oh. Oh. Whew. <laughs> Sorry I get so fired up. Oh, I just, I, I guess I'm just passionate about my team and my bros. I mean, all, all brothers get in the scraps, don't they, Gary? Yeah, I guess it's just part of being in a family, eh? Anyway, look, it's almost knock-off time. What do you say, mate? Can you whip up that apology letter tonight and bring it in tomorrow? Yes. Good man. Good man. Good on you, mate. Fantastic, Johnny. <laughs> See you, Johnny. <laughs> I've got to tell you, mate, I hate the feeling before these heavy meetings. I love it afterwards when you get it all out in the open. Makes you feel so much better. I know what you mean, Phil. Oh. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I get it. I know what you're saying. If I hate my job that much, why don't I just leave? I'm a bitch about something that I do nothing about. I don't leave because I have no qualifications or experience in any other field. It's not as if I could just go out and get myself an awesome job. I'm stuck there and I hate it. But at least it keeps a roof over my family's head. <laughs> 